Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Um, I've actually done this video, recorded this video a number of times. We've I've had some uh, technical difficulties and malfunctions and this, that, and the others. But um, yeah, we're going to start with, I'm again not wearing any makeup and that's okay. I Truly, I do wear makeup quite often. I have quite a bit of it. I like it. But today, I had to go to the eye doctor, and they dilated my eyes and put yellow numbing drops in my eyes and all that. So I kind of knew that I wasn't going anywhere. I wasn't really going to see anybody. So didn't do any makeup today. But I also wasn't expecting to film a video today. But this is a Dollar Tree haul, and I wanted to share with you all the goodies that I got. Now, just an FYI, this is a haul from three different cities. I've been kind of collecting it for uh, a little while now. Um, I went looking for some specific items. I did find said most of the items, and when we get to that part of the haul, I will definitely share it with you. Um, I am a Dollar Tree addict. I my husband says that I, I just sniff them out every time I go to a different town or a city. I just I just see them and I have to go. I have to go. He's gotten to the point where he doesn't even go in with me anymore. He's just like, no, go do your thing. I'm going to wait in the car. But I figure since I'm such an avid Dollar Tree shopper and I'm starting a YouTube channel that the best way to combine the two of them is to do Dollar Tree hauls. I know I'm by far not the only one. In fact, I watch quite a few people who do the Dollar Tree hauls. I love them. Very inspiring. That's kind of one of the things that made me decide to do this. Um, but yeah, we're just going to jump right in with what I got to, you know, on the table in front of me here. Uh, we're going to start with these little beauties. These are the veggie storage containers. Um, I got two today. I already have two. They're in my refrigerator right now. They are actually in use. Strawberries and raspberries. But I love these. They had them in obviously purple, um, blue, green, and I don't, and I believe it's red or maybe it was orange. I don't remember. But I gravitate toward purple. Doesn't match my kitchen anyway. Red would match better, but purple's still pretty. There are three pieces. Nice heavy duty lid. A little basket and the tub that it sits in. I love this. You put the produce in the basket and you can rinse it out real nice in the sink and then just pop it right in there and put the lid on real tight, snap it down, and just stick it in the fridge and you're good to go. So like I said, I got two of those. Then um, for the kids, I got Bring Pop Mysteries. You get four of them in here. You get yellow, pink, green, and blue. They're all mystery flavors. My son did just eat the green one, and he said that it tastes like lime jello. So, just an FYI, the green mystery is lime jello. Uh, as the other ones get eaten, I'll try to keep you updated as to what each flavor is. Then I got some stickers. I love stickers. Hi, my name is Miranda. I am a stickeraholic. I have been collecting stickers since I was a little girl. Um, somewhere in my grandma's house in the extra bedroom is a sticker collection book from 20 plus years ago. But I am a planner girl. I have a happy planner. I have a recollections planner. I have a Target Dollar Spot planner. And then I have a small planner that stays in my purse. And that's like when I'm on the go and stuff, when a point when I have to make appointments or anything, that's where everything gets written down. That is that is the main planner for me. That is my go to, that's where all my information is. So my menu planning is in there, my appointments, everything. So when I sit down to do my spreads and my other planners, I bring that one up and then I know, you know, okay, so on this day I've got a dentist appointment type of thing. So it's my central planner. And then I'm also I do pocket letters. In fact, you can kind of see right behind me here in this little thing on the wall, there's two that you can see in the front, but there's actually four pocket letters there that are ready to go. I just have to stick the notes in them, put them in their envelopes, and mail them off, and they are ready to go. So, I use a lot of stickers. So the first ones I got were Lisa Frank. Anybody that was like me and grew up in the 90s, especially you ladies, you remember Lisa Frank. We had the Trapper Keepers, 
and the notebooks and the folders and the pens and the stickers and the pencils and the this, that's and the others. Everything was Lisa Frank. I love Lisa Frank. My favorite was always the Rainbow Unicorn. That was the special one. Now, for anybody that is a Lisa Frank fan or likes the adult coloring books like I do, I have a nice pile of them over there. Um, Lisa Frank is coming out with an adult coloring book. If you follow her Facebook page, there's actually a little thing on there. It should be coming out next month, but I guess it's a Dollar General exclusive, I believe. Don't quote me, but if I remember right, it's a Dollar General exclusive. So if you don't live near a Dollar General, it's going to be a little difficult for you. But I'm personally within driving distance of three different Dollar Generals, so hopefully, fingers crossed, I find one. But yeah, this is a little book. Four sheets. Sorry for all the rambling. My goodness, I'm talky today. Small little stickers. Here's, look, there it is. My little rainbow unicorn. This is kind of a new one. I don't rec I don't remember this swan one at all. But then all the rest of these, you know, you've got to remember the penguins and the ponies and the polar bears, the dogs, the little tiger, and the dolphins. I mean, these are ones that we saw forever. They've always been around. Here's some more. Frogs. And then the last page. And hello, do you see these? Aren't these gorgeous? Just beautiful. And then I also got this other package of stickers. Now, just knowing me and that I only got two, good pat on the back for myself because I normally tend to really stock up. But these ones are puffy, little ponies. Little pony stickers are puffy. They come some holographic stickers. And then these, there's a lot of little ones in here. It's 165 stickers on this little package. But these back ones here, these would be great to kind of cut them into little sections and great little goodies in the back of a pocket letter. All right. Oh, and then my youngest daughter decided that she wanted this nail polish. The Hello Kitty nail polish. Yes, we have the Hello Kitty nail polish. Very exciting. We don't have one, not two, not just three, but four. Hello Kitty Nail Polishes, okay? Now, it says that these are safe, non-toxic, peelable nail polishes. Now, there's some information on the bottom. I did peel it off, and it says to remove with um, nail with um, rubbing alcohol. So maybe if it doesn't peel off or something, rubbing alcohol, I'm not sure how it works yet. But we got this one, it's kind of a red color. This one here, it's kind of a deep, dark pink. And this one here, it's purple. And then this one's kind of an orange color. Now this one I did open. And the wand is actually the whole Hello Kitty body. And it's got a really basic wand. And there is a fragrance. My son actually described it as like that toy slime stuff that you find sometimes. But that's what it smells like. And I think he's right. It's very similar to that. Now everything else that I've got is makeup. Like I said, I wear a lot of makeup. I just don't have any on today. Now we're going to start with, I got two tubes of Sassy and Chic CC cream. Now I've never bought any of the, the Sassy and Chic makeup products, but I'm in love with my e.l.f. BB cream. And so I thought, what the heck, I'm going to give this a CC cream a try. And for only a dollar, if it's not any good, I'm not out much. If it, if it is good, if I like it, then yay me. But I got light and medium. Their range, their color range is not real big. And I'm going to let you know now that I've already swatched both of these. They're both very light. I really need to go back and get uh, the darker color and probably mix with them. But these are both very, very light. And I am not real dark. I'm rather fair myself. And so knowing that these are as light as they are, it's, yeah, it's something. I wasn't expecting it to be this light. But you can see light and medium. Very, very light. I mean, yeah. 
Might be a good under eye concealer, possibly. Then I got, um, they don't really smell like anything either. Really light scented. But then I got a lipstick from NYC. It's Expert Last Lip Color in the shade Creamy Caramel. And it looks like this. It's kind of sheer. It's very light. It's not a heavy color at all. It's very creamy and very super smooth to put on. Um, if you rub it a little bit, it kind of blends it in. But then I think, you see, it's, it's almost like a stain there. It's really pretty. I like it. I will definitely get some use out of that. And then I got an e.l.f. Baked Eyeshadow Trio in the shade Smoky Sea. Now, like I said, this has been a malfunctioning day, so I have actually already opened this and gone through this, and I have swatched this. And I don't think I'm going to do it this time, because... Now, don't get me wrong, the colors are beautiful. You've got a beautiful charcoal gray, a navy blue, and a white. Now, this white has a really golden undertone to it. You can't really see it in this light, but it's got a beautiful golden undertone, and they're all shimmery. Um, the charcoal is actually sparkly without being glittery. They're all, you know, the other two are shimmer, that black is a sparkle. But these are a baked eyeshadow, so they go on very, very sheer. They do not have a lot of pigment when you were just to swatch them on your hand. But I think from having used baked eyeshadows before, especially the e.l.f. ones, because I have so much e.l.f. makeup, it's kind of ridiculous, actually. And I have more on the way. When that box gets here, I'll share it with you. But... These will go on really nice, wet. You apply these wet and you're going to get some beautiful pigment on your eyes. Um, or, or you could use a, like a creamy uh, base or a crayon stick, an eyeshadow crayon, and apply that. And when it's still tacky, apply this on top and you're going to get the same effect. Very pigmented, very, very beautiful. Now for the main event. Everything else in this haul is basically what I was looking for. This is all the Wet n Wild Fergie collection. It's taken me a while to get this many items. And out of all of this stuff, I've only actually worn one item one time. And when we get to it, I'll tell you which one it is. And I actually, because it took me so long to get as much as I have here, I actually repurchased two items, so I have do doubles of two of the items, and when we get to those, I'll tell you which ones they are. But I think I'm just going to jump right in. Oh, no, I do not have everything yet. I'm still looking for some stuff. There is a translucent pressed powder that I want to get my hands on, and I have not seen yet. Um, I've seen it on a YouTube video, so I know it's out there. I just haven't seen it in any of my Dollar Trees yet, along with any of the powdered highlighters. I have not seen any of those either. And then um, one blush. I've only seen one blush and it's not my shade. It was similar in color to this hot pink. It kind of reminded me of um, Barbie doll pink, like that really, really bright pink. And I think if there had been more hanging there, I may have grabbed it, but there was only one and it's not a color that I will reach for probably ever. And so it wasn't right for me to grab it when somebody else may want it that would actually wear it and look good on you know with it on and all that so I just left it for them so I did not get the blush I prefer peachy natural um, apricot kind of looks on my blush so that being said um, no rhyme or reason we're just gonna kind of go through what I got here so we're gonna start with the center stage collection is what it's called the whole thing. And this is the To Reflect Shimmer Palette in Carnival in Rio. First of all, this thing is huge. I mean, look at that. It's it's big. It's a big palette. It's a huge pan. It is a bronzer, as far as I can tell. And it reminds me of, the way that this looks, reminds me of the e.l.f. baked blushes. That marble look. Okay? So, looking at it on screen, my camera is showing it a lot lighter than it is. I mean, this is much darker than it looks on screen. However, oh my, look at that. That is beautiful. And then, it is like 
a beautiful coppery penny, like a brand new beautiful penny. This is a gorgeous color. I am super impressed with this. I think we'll just do the powder since I only got a few of them. And then I got two eyeshadow palettes. Now I'm still looking for the one that's in the naturals, like the brown colors, but I got this one as Camouflage Couture and this is Suburban Jungle. Now this is one of the ones that I ended up with doubles of. So I have two of these. Um, they come with this weird little rounded sponge applicator. I don't know about you, but I myself never use these. I give these to my daughter for her makeup collection. But these top two colors are super creamy, very, very um, buttery. And when you swatch them with your fingers, it almost feels like if you push too hard, you're going to bust the pans. We'll do those two first. And then the bottom two are a little more firm. Not quite as pigmented. And then that center one, it's kind of a gold color. It's not like really sparkly, but it is a gold. Sorry about the, the lighting in here. It's it's also really dark out. I think if I had done this in the daytime, the natural lights would have looked a lot better. So I apologize. And then, just put the little applicator back. The Suburban Camouflage one. Again, with the curved sponge applicator. Very shimmery. This one is actually like a black with a green shimmer and maybe a little bit of gold in there. But we'll do the top two first again like we did the last time. My hands are going to be so sparkly. And then the bottom two, and that black one is so super pigmented and so creamy and buttery to the touch. I mean, look at that, that's gorgeous. And then that middle one is shimmery, shimmery, sparkly gold. I mean, that's, that's insane right there. These are beautiful colors. I can't wait to play with these a little bit. I've been waiting to do this video. Um, because I want to try all these colors myself. I'd like to actually use them on my face. Alright, those are all the powders, and oh my. <laughs> I'm kind of stained here. Then I got two mascaras. Now, first of all, the packaging is beautiful. So we've got this beautiful gold one, and it is the mask is the sorry, turn up the volume full blast mascara, and it has a silicone brush. It is a black. And if you look at it from this angle, I'm trying to get a good angle on it. Oh, kind of see it there. It's, there's like four sections of bristles and then the gaps between it. It's kind of interesting, but it's a volumizing one. And then the silver, I mean, gold and silver, come on, you can't go wrong with these beautiful gold and silver packages. This one, the packaging says nothing. It just says wet and wild and Fergie on it. It doesn't tell you what kind it is. I don't know anything about it other than it's black and it's mascara. The wand, however, is a fiber wand, it is curved, and it is also flat, like that. So it makes me think that this is a lengthening and curling mascara. I would actually have to use both of these together in order to get half of the lashes that my son has, because he has the most gorgeous lashes in the world. It's not even fair. Not kidding. Then I got two gel eyeliners. I got Little Black Dress and Coco Riche. And they both came with these brushes. Now, these are not brushes that I would ever actually use with eyeliner, honestly. I have much better eyeliner brushes, so I may pass these on to my daughter as well. I don't know. But I don't want to swatch these for you, but I did actually swatch them when I first bought them just to try. They're really thick and creamy. But, you know, it's just a gel eyeliner. They don't smudge, and I'm telling you what, these things do not want to come off. When I swatched them on my hand, I had used the brush, that's why this one's dirty, 
and I just kind of went like this and there was still more on there so that I was trying to get it off the rough. It's another reason I wouldn't use this, but it just really soaked up so much color and I ended up with like eyeliner all over my hand and I had to use two eye makeup or makeup remover wipes and then um, some micellar water in order to get it all off. These things don't budge. Along the lines of eyeliner, I also got three pencil eyeliners. These are the On Edge Long Wear Eye Pencils. I got them in Midnight Girl, X Stacy, and Violet Femme. Now here, I'll quick swatch these for you. There are, this black one is so creamy going on. It's so smooth, it's ridiculous. Um, the X Stacy is as well. Oh my goodness, but that is so bright and pink. And Violet Femme is a little bit lighter. It's still really creamy going on, but you almost want to kind of build on that one just a little bit. But that pink is, yeah, pink. Very, very pink. Oh, and that black. It, I think after they set for a minute, they just don't want to come off. Um, then I got one... Celebrity Concealer. It's Come Correct Celebrity Concealer. And when I bought this, it was in the packaging, and you, there was no shade name on it. It didn't tell you what the shade was. But on the back, when I opened it, it says it's Shade Fair. So, and I actually swatched a little bit of this on my hand, and this is thick. This is seriously some thick, thick concealer. I was thinking under eye stuff. I don't know. Just that little dot right there. It's thick and creamy and opaque. This is some full coverage concealer right there. I mean, that's ridiculous right there. I almost want to go back and see if I can't find a shade darker. Oh my, that would that would cover some little face demons, that's for sure. And then I got two eyeshadow primers. They're both called Take on the Day Eyeshadow Primer, but this one is for my primas, and this one is a little party. Now, for my primas, is a matte primer. It not quite like the Urban Decay um, Primer Potion, but it is still a matte. It's not as um, dark as my or pigmented as my Urban Decay, but it does blend into clear, and it's a silicone base. You can feel it. And then the for the party, or sorry, a little party is a shimmer eyeshadow primer. Now, a little bit goes a long way with this. The texture, the consistency of this is a little bit thinner. And when they say shimmer, there's no joking in this. Uh, really, there's not. This is ridiculously shimmery. Okay, see just this little tiny dot. If I do this and smear. Look at that. I've basically just put a liquid highlighter on my hand. This is incredible. It's gorgeous. It is... Um, very rosy, almost like a rose gold. It's beautiful. I can see myself using this almost as a liquid highlight, maybe. I'm a, yeah, I love that color. Then everything else I have is for the lips. Now, I start with these two. Again, with the lack of information on the packaging. These are a lipstick, obviously. But I got Fergie Daily and Bebop Love. Fergie Daily is the one color, the one item that I tried on. And it's pretty. It's a nude. It, But it's um, more on the pink side. But it doesn't look right on me. And then this one is the Bebop Love. It's very similar. It's a shade darker. And it's a little more on the brown side. And this one I like. This one I can actually see myself wearing on a regular basis. This one I think would have to be, like if I mix the two maybe, this would be the center, possibly. Then I got these. These are the Velvet Matte Lip Colors. So I'm just gonna, this is the Fashion Darling, this is the other item I did end up with the second one of. But I'll just swatch it on my hand and you can look. Velvet Darling. It's kind of a a rosy mauve, creamsicle kitty. Honestly, the name speaks for itself on that one. It just it reminds me of a creamsicle. It's an orangey peach color. Plum genuine, kind of a plummy pinky color, kind of a dusty plum almost. 
I love the word dusty, and these and all of these are have that dusty feel to it. This is pinky candy. This is obviously going to be the pinkest one, and I like this, and I can see myself actually wearing it. It's almost got that your lips but better look to it, you know. Um, the standout. This is a lilac color. I don't want to say lavender because to me lavender implies blue undertones, but this is lilac. It has a pink undertone to it. And then the last one is Nude Muse. This one almost perfectly matches my skin tone. But there they are. They're very, very pretty. Um, but they aren't like a matte lip, um, lip stain or liquid lip color. Meaning they don't dry down and then stay like a stain. There's just not a shine to them, not a sheen. There's no gloss to it. It's a natural, beautiful color on your lips. But it's still, it's going to kiss off. You know, when you, it will transfer. And then the last three things I got are all these. They are the Vicious Varnish High Shine Lip Stains. These are something else. These are a whole nother ball game right here. I got Street Queen. This is kind of a pink color. It's a very light pink. And these are thick. They got a nice doe foot applicator, but they're thick. Um, this one is epic, and this one is kind of a berry wine color. It's beautiful. I love this color. And then the last one I got is Global Fierceness. Now this is that bright Barbie doll pink. And this is probably, I don't want to say the most pigmented, but is buildable to probably the best opacity. And this one's more of a, it's a Barbie doll hot pink, but it's kind of on the red hot pink, you know, and this one is a berry wine. But they are definitely glossy, and they're beautiful colors. They really just are. Um, but that's it. That's all I got. And I know it's a long video, but I wanted to make sure that I kind of explained everything here really well. Um... I have got a couple of ideas in mind as to different um, video things I can be, that I can do. They're uh, mainly DIYs. Because I have three kids, a lot of my DIYs are um, going to be either decor for the house or things that the kids can use or decor for their rooms or things that I do with the kids. So if you like that sort of thing, hey, check me out. I'm, I've got three in mind that I know I'm going to do for sure. And then beyond that, I don't know. I am taking suggestions. So if you like the video, thumbs it up and subscribe down below. I know I'm new. This is only my second video, but I promise there'll be more. All right. Well, until next time, have a good evening.